everyone, I'm Katie Boyle. And I'm Matthew Page, and welcome to the 40th Annual Bay on St. Patrick's Day Parade. Bay on St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee was formed in 1981, with the inaugural parade held in March of 1982 after an absence of 70 years. Several Irish organizations in the city of Bayonne serve as the sponsoring organizations of the parade, including the County Corksmen Association, the County Donegal Association, the Irish American League, and the Shamrock Society. The committee is chaired this year by Bridget Anzac, also serving on the executive board are Gabrielle Figueroa, our vice chair, Agnes Gillespie, the treasurer, Margaret Cavery, the corresponding secretary, and Sheila Hudako, the recording secretary. The 2023 parade coordinator is Gabrielle Figueroa. First, we have the Catholic War Veterans Post 1612 Honor Guard. This is the Catholic War Vets' first time back in a few years. The commander is Art Van Horn, and marching with him are Vietnam era veterans Carlton Rose and Joe Kokansky. With them, we have the Staten Island Pipers. The Staten Island Pipers and Drums have been a fixture at parades and special events throughout the metropolitan region since 1965. And now we have the 2023 Grand Marshal, Gabrielle Rose Figueroa, and her aides, Allison Conway, Patrick Donovan, Melanie McBride, and my mother, Marilyn Page. Gabrielle was born and raised in the city of Bayonne. She's alumni. She's an alum of Midtown Community Co School, Holy Family Academy, and the College of New Jersey. Gabrielle's Irish roots are in counties Donegal and Clare. Her parents are Nula and Chico, and siblings are Kathleen and Michael. She is the granddaughter of 1993 Grand Marshal Kathleen O'Keefe. Gabrielle is a longtime member of the parade committee. In addition to serving as vice chair, she has organized the parade for several, several years. Gabby is the secretary for the Bayonne Irish Festival. She's a member of the County Donegal Association and serves as a contest coordinator for the Bayonne Selection Century of the Mary from Dunlow. She was previously recognized as aide to the Grand Marshal in 2017. Outside of the many heritage organizations, Gabrielle remains active with the Hudson County School Counselor Association with the Dan Finn Foundation. She currently serves as the elementary school counselor in Kearney. Now we have the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee with the Bayonne Parade Patch Grand Marshals. We have 2019 Bridget Anzac, 1991 Agnes Gillespie, 1984 Oliver Bracken, 2013 Bill Dw Dwyer, and 2002 Mary Ellen Colony. Got some fans in the crowd. <laughs> Now we have the Knights of Columbus fourth degree. The Knights of Columbus in Bayonne is over 120 years old. The largest Catholic organization in the world with over 1.9 million members. Bayonne has one of the largest memberships in the state of New Jersey with over 700 active members. Here now we have the Star of the Sea Assembly and Council with elected officers, Mayor James Davis, First Ward Council member Neil Carroll III, Second Ward Council member Jacqueline Wehmer, Third World Council Member Gary Lapalusa Sr., Council Member at Large Load Booker, and Council Member at Large Juan M. Perez. And now we have our Bayonne Police Pipes and Drums followed by the Bayonne Police Department Color Guard. Approaching now is the Bayonne Police Emerald Society followed by the Bayonne Fire Department and Emerald Society.
here next we have the New Jersey State Police Blue and Gold Pipe Band, officially sponsored by McCabe Ambulance. Followed by McCabe Ambulance, uh, namesake by Mickey McCabe, a Bayonne legend, 2007 Grand Marshal of the Bayonne Parade. Not right now, one second. <laughs> now we have St. Anne's of Hampton Pipe Band, found, founded in 1990 by the late Father William Hewitt and the town's local Catholic church. Competed at the World Champions of Pipe Band in Glasgow. Here's the New Jersey State Police Blue and Gold Gold Pipe Band, sponsored by McCabe Ambulance. So that wasn't this one. <laughs> 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 Our mistake, this is actually the St. Anne's of Hampton Pipe Band, uh, again founded in 1990 by the late Father William Hewitt in the town's local Catholic Church. They competed at the World Championships of Pipe in Glasgow. Next, we have the Irish American League with President Sue Sweeney, Vice President Mara Carney, Corresponding Secretary Margaret Calverly, my aunt, Recording Secretary Dolores Gill, and Treasurer Diane Lyman. This year's aide to the Grand Marshal for the IAL is Patrick Donovan. Pat's Irish roots are in County Mayo, Galway, and Cork. Petra is an integral member of the Irish American League and also serves on the committee of the Bayonne Irish Festival. Also marching with the Irish American League are its 2023 honorees who were recognized at their January Claudette Dinner Dance with Irish Woman of the Year Jennifer Shea Tarantino, Irish educator Colleen Burns, and Irish business owner Rosemary Donovan Kellner. Behind them, we have All Saints Catholic Academy, Principal John Rios, Rios uh, named a Blue Ribbon School, which is a rare achievement for, for a school. Our graduating classes have received over a million dollars in scholarships to a chosen high schools. That's my Give alma mater. It, there you go. Give it up for All Saints Catholic Academy. Next, we have Lincoln Community School, with its president, Keith Mikowski.
and they're cheering hard. There we go. Speaking of cheering, behind them we have Midtown Community School. Uh, principals, uh, Mr. James Pondilio. Uh, vice principals are Miss uh, Nicole Moreau and Mr. Chris Romano. They are known for their cheer team. You can hear them cheering. Here they come. <laughs> Here they come. Loud and proud. Next we have the Cub Scout Pack 25. Den meetings are held Mondays at the Masonic Lodge. New members in grades one, two, and three are always welcome. The Circulo Hispano America from Bayonne, founded in 2014. Here we have the Eastern Atlantic States Regional Council of Carpenters, local 253, over 30 years participating in the Bayonne Parade in memory of the organizer of the original Carpenters Union, an Irish immigrant of the name Peter McGuire. I don't even have to say 253. Here I, they go. Yeah, I mean, you will know their name now. 253. That Regional Council of Carpenters really showed up today. A lot of Irish pride. Deep. Now we have the Hudson County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff is Frank Sh Shalari. Next we have the Weehawken High School Marching Band. WSH Marching Band is a premier ensemble of the Weehawken Music Department and has been one of the top marching bands in New Jersey for the last decade. The band has won many U.S. band state championships and national championships in the past 10 years. In addition to the band's competitive success, the WSH band has had the opportunity to perform at some of the largest and most famous venues in the country, including Madison Square Garden, MetLife Stadium, Walt Disney World in Orlando, and recently the British Center in Newark. The band director is Mr. Tristan Shafran. We have the County Corksman Association. The organization's president is the one and only Bill Conway, a past Grand Marshal. This year's aide from County Cork is Bill's niece, Allison Conway. Allison's paternal great-grandmother is from County Cork, and her paternal great-grandfather was from Sligo. 
Allison works as a school nurse for the Bayonne Board of Education. Give it up for the Conways and the County Corps Men's Association. Next we have Henry Harris School with the principal Maria Casimir. Look at the sash for the student council. They're pretty There nice. we go. The student council is here decorated and present. Irish pride and all. <laughs> Here we have Dr. Walter Robbins School, Principal Karen Fearmont. Here next we have Washington Community School with its president George Becker. Here comes our Bayonne Nature Club. Many contributions to the city of Bayonne, including their bird walks, shoreline cleanups, and maintaining a butterfly garden at Rakowski Park. I actually took part in one of the shoreline cleanups. Oh, yeah? How's that? Great initiative. I love it. Oh, and we have Captain Bayonne! Oh, yes! <laughs> Special appearance. Blowing kisses to the crowd. Oh, they did? We're skipping. We're skipping. Here next we have the Fusion Twirlers. It's their 10th year marching in our parade. They're coached by Sharon and Cheryl Fallot, past USTA national champions. In recent years they've had numerous state champions and Northeastern Regional Festival of the Future Twirling Champs. They're always recruiting new members ages 4 and up and check them out on Facebook and Instagram. I'm definitely checking them out. National champions, look. Very decorated squad. I mean, that's a lot more talent than I have. No. I could not do that. <laughs> Here comes the Bayonne Friends of the Handicapped, including the Hudson County Ability League for Bowling. My uncle was actually a member for them for a long time, James Boyle. Uh, it's a group full of personality for sure. Uh, they serve the develop developmentally disabled throughout Bayonne. Marches today are from the Ability Camp, Special Olympics, and many other groups from within the city. They are a great bunch of people and I can attest to that. The organization is honored um, to serve such fine groups of young men and women, and we wish them continued success. Here next we have the Trinity Parish Cub Scouts, Pac-27, with Scoutmaster Joe Frank. Why does Sir Shalali have a bigger handle than mine? 
Oh. Here next to the free and accepted Mason's Peninsula Lodge 99. The initial group was founded in the 1850s, and many lodges emerged and consolidated over the years to give us the current home right here on Avenue C. This group holds many events throughout the year, from breakfast to blood drives, and the Masons give generously to various charities in the city. I love the envelopes. I love it. Here we have the Ability Day Camp, Arts and Crafts. It's here they go. They are outside of the this. bus. A lot of energy in that bus. Oh, we've got some nice characters here. Some Masons left behind. They're meant for the camera, they know it. <laughs> here we have the Co County Donegal Association Color Guard. The County Donegal Association was founded in 1932. Its longtime president is 1993 Grand Marshal Kathleen Gillen O'Keefe, who hails from Convoy County, Don County, County Donegal, Ireland. Actually has St. Patrick on the front and St. Bridget on the back. Oh. Next we have Rory O'Moore's School of Pipes and Drums. The band was formed in 1995 with pipe major pipe major is Keith, Keith Wood with pipe charges Matt Wood, Robert Luciano, Sue Myatt, and Jim Quinby with drum sergeants Bill Scafani, Carrie Lynn Walsh, Wood, and Patrick Wood. The Donegal A this year is Melanie McBride. Her paternal grandmother hailed from Athenry County, Galway. Her paternal grandfather's ancestors came from Northern Ireland, and her maternal ancestors came from the counties Clare and Westmeath. Melanie is a member of the parade committee and the Bayonne Irish Festival, using her creative genius to design many of the t-shirts of these events in the past few years. The Donegal Association is proud to celebrate its reigning Mary from Dunlow, Shannon Neary, daughter of 2012 Grand Marshal Sean Neary. Also joining the group today is international Mary from Dunlow, Caitlin Finn. Here's the Kerry Smith Academy of Irish Dance, Hudson County's only certified Irish dance school with classes for ages three and up. The first opened in 2012. Uh, KSA is proud to pass down Irish traditions and cultures for future generations. Teacher Kerry Smith actually danced with our Grand Marshal for over a decade at the Nogla School of Irish Dance. Now we have Bayonne's rugby club, the Bayonne Bombers, now in their 30, 34th year. This year, the club is unveiling new goalposts down at 16th Street Park with the assistance of the city's Department of Rec and Parks and Recreation. The club would like to especially thank Mayor Jimmy Davis and Pete Amadio for their co constant support. I'd like to also shout out some of our founding members, George Delaney, Mike Boyle, and Ted Hughes. Here now we have the Horace Mann School with its principal, Dr. Catherine Quinn. <laughs> okay. 
now we have Woodrow Wilson School. Principal is Maureen Hurley Brown. You there, Woodrow, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson Community School City Champs. There we go. Now I have Nicholas Oresco School with its principal Charles Costello. That's my alma mater. <laughs> Now we have the Bayonne Chamber of Commerce. Established in 1912, the Chamber of Commerce provides services, information, and events for the businesses of Bayonne. Presently, the Chamber is led by Michelle Bride, along with an amazing group of leaders. Pre of the City of Bayonne 56th Street Senior Center, the group is of our most active citizens. The center is open Monday through Friday and offers various activities such as chair yoga, Zumba, the book club, and many more. They recently had a St. Patrick's Day party, so we're glad they continue to celebrate Irish heritage and culture with us here today. Here comes the Barrett family. The Barretts have had many businesses in Bayonne and Jersey City. The Barretts March is Barretts Tavern for many years, also with other groups after the tavern closed. They are happy to be back celebrating a great tradition under the Barrett Burke name, along with the Kennelly and McCuster families. United Gaelic Pipe Band, founded in 1949 and based in Carney, New Jersey. Pipe, pipe mayor is Sean McGonigan. In 2018, the band became the first North American pipe band ever to win at the All-Ireland Pipe Band Championship in County Wexford. Give it up for them. That's very impressive. Now we have the Shamrock Society of Bayonne. Uh, the, the Shamrock Society marched in the ba Bayonne St. Patrick's Day Parade for the first time in 2008 and became a sponsoring organization in 2012. Current co-chairs of the organization are Mary Cole and Una Hughes, with co-secretaries Mark Cavley and Marilyn Page, and treasurer Peggy McGarvey. This year, aide to the Grand Marshal is my mom, Marilyn Cavley Page. Marilyn's grandmothers, Johnny and Maggie Gibbons, came from County Donegal. Marilyn has traveled back to Donegal many times to visit family and friends. Marilyn is the founding member of the Shamrock Society, as well as a member of the Irish American League and the Parade Committee. The Shamrock Society sponsors many events during the course of the year, including the annual kickoff to St. Patrick's Day Party, Irish Night at the 16th Street Pool, his annual Mammoth Racetrack trip and Bob's birthday bash raising funds for the Bob Cole Memorial Scholarship, which is awarded to the Bayonne eighth grader with direct ties to the group who will attend a Catholic high school. The sponsorship scholarship is given in memory of Bob, who was a former vice president of the Shamrock Society, an ed ed educator and coach at Marist High School and later at Bayonne High School. Here we have Detective Joseph Seals Memorial Group. On Tuesday, December 10th, 2019, our neighbors in Jersey City experienced grave acts of violence with a mass shooting, which took the lives of four victims, including that of Detective Joe Seals. Joe grew up in Bayonne and graduated from Bayonne High School. We are proudly joined by some members of his family today. Please join us in celebrating the life of Detective Seals. Now we have the Bayonne High School Marching Band. Continuing traditions of recent years, the BHS Marching Band has invited the 7th to 8th grade students from the district to participate in the band for our parade. This past year, the Bayonne High School Marching Band won the U.S. Band's Group 1A state championships and placed second at national championships for the first time in its history. It's very yeah, impressive. Very impressive. Making the Bayonne name proud. They got the trophy here today to show it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're showing off the gold here today. 
We've got some sidebirds going on, some Elvis classes. We got it all They're today. They're showing out. Here we have the Bayonne Board of Education, Don, uh, John Nunez, uh, Superintendent of Schools, Kenny Kopaz, Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Dennis Degnan, uh, another Assistant Superintendent, uh, Jennifer Vicallery, Assistant Superintendent, uh, Dan Castle, uh, School Business Administrator, Tom Fogu, Assistant School Business Administrator, Jody Casayas, Board of President, Hector Gonzalez, Board VP, Marion Beckney, Trustee. Oh. <laughs> well, here we have the Bayonne High School Girls Basketball State Champions, everybody, with Principal Richard Baccarella. And behind them, we have the Bayonne High School Drama Society. The Bayonne High School Drama Society and International Thespian Society Troop 5093 continues its mission to bring its arts, education, and performance opportunities to the children of Bayonne. They have been recognized with top honors, awards, and critical recognitions at Hudson County's Teen Arts New Jersey State Teen Arts Paper Mill Playhouse, New Jersey School Board Association, and the New York Conservatory of Dramatic Arts. Would you just pass is the PG Vroom School with Principal Stacy Jane Sicko and John M. Bailey School with Principal Al McCormick. And now we have Bayonne Recreation Wrestling. Bayonne Recreation Wrestling competes every weekend in January and February. The program has had wrestlers win regionals and go to the state competitions. I mean, if I have a, a free weekend in January and February, I will be at that Bayonne Recreation Wrestling. What about you, Maddie? Oh, yeah. I will be there as well. They've got some shamrocks on their sign, Irish prides. I see some those Kobe Grinches out there. <laughs> I have no doubt they will take me out. We have some Jersey City Police, State Troopers. Yeah, they gotta bring these sirens back. They look cooler. Pulling up in fashion. And let everybody know that they're here. They are. They are the definition of loud and proud. Now talk about some legends. <laughs> and here we are, last group of the parade per usual, the Bridgman Performing Arts. They are arguably our pride of this parade. They come all the time and they are Bayonne legends to when, say the least. When you think about the Bayonne St. Patrick's Day Parade, you think of the Bridgman. 1000% I agree with you. And what better way to conclude the uh, 40th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade? Join us next year on St. Patrick's Day itself, Sunday, March 17th, 2024, for our 41st, 41st annual parade. Many thanks to our friends from Ben TV for their continued support of this event. I mean, on St. Patrick's Day, what better way could you think to celebrate St. Pat Patty's Day than come in the Bayonne Parade?